what do you expect to see differently in the higher education sector next year? Something different, okay, in the sense that we are, we have started to implement the integrated CGPA, mm -hmm. and uh, we have started also to do our two plus two work-based learning program. Mm -hmm. So uh, by having even these two programs, we can see that uh, the way students are going to be treated is going to be different. Mm -hmm. The way the students are going to be evaluated is going to be different. The way the approach, the lecturer approach to teaching learning is going to be different. Uh, solely before, probably before, we will look only at your academic performance. Now you have to look into your uh, entrepreneurial skill, you have to look into your communication skill, you have to look into your social responsibility, commitment, your CSR. So, uh, getting into the eight domains rather than just see a person as uh, in the academic sense, but they are seeing the, the they are seeing the student in eight domains rather than just one domain. Uh, this appears to be a huge transition that you that yeah. you are overlooking. Yeah. How will it be quantified? The integrated CGPA is uh, something new that we explore. <laughs> Actually, uh, it's new to the world, but it's not new to some of our professors, so I've been looking into it. And uh, we have this professor in, uh, in the ministry, uh, Prof. Jaffa Jantan, who's been doing it for the last six years. Of course, if you look at, there's so many ways how we can measure leadership, it's not new anymore. It's, there's ways how we can measure uh, your communication skill, so it's going to be embedded into the subjects that you're doing. Your leadership skill, how you, how do you show, how you, how is, how is it reflected in that particular uh, subject matter? So the lecturer will will not only look at your uh, academic performance, but also how you perform in class, your ethics, uh, your value system. Uh, probably in the in the curriculum is being embedded how you contribute to the society. So this is your CSR start to come in. So it's going to be embedded the subjects that, that you are doing. The, the need for the ICGPA, what was the problem before? The holistic, we want to see a holistic and balanced student. That's our uh, shift one in our blueprint, mm -hmm. saying that we want, we, want, we want Malaysian graduates to be holistic, uh, entrepreneurial and balanced. So how, how do you measure that they are they're holistic? Mm -hmm. How do you measure that they are entrepreneurial? How do you measure that they're balanced? Mm -hmm. We can say that we want them to be, but how do you measure that? I've seen a lot of universities using that concept, entrepreneurial mm -hmm. students, but in the end, when they go out of universities, it's just CGPA. Mm -hmm. So we are not we are being practical. If you say that that is the way how to measure a student, we must, you must be a yardstick, there must be a KPI. How do you measure them? That's, that's the reason why we come up with integrated CGPA.